Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with WinnersandWiners.com coming to you from the Derek Saunders studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, if you would be so kind, you digging what we're doing? Uh, maybe you picked up a couple ducats on the NFL action yesterday. Hey, give us a thumbs up, man. Let us know. Uh, let us know you're out there and. Uh, let us uh, let us know you're there. We appreciate it as always. And of course, uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Make sure you click that bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content. All right. And uh, of course, we want to know what you're playing. That's what makes it fun, man. Uh, give us a give us your best plays in the comment section. We'll take uh, we'll uh, we'll grade up to five if you want to throw more than that in there to help out your fellow handicappers. We appreciate it as always. Throw as many as you want up there. And when you get your picks right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, just like Derek Saunders, my friends. You will be our capper of the day. And of course, this time of year, there is no better handicapping resource than winnersandwiners.com. Make sure you stop by and check out deep dives into every game going on in America every single day. If you can bet on it, you can bet we're writing about it over there at winnersandwiners.com. All right. Well, let's take a look at. Uh, See how we did yesterday on our picks. On the deep three, we did have uh, the Chicago Bears to cover uh, what ended up being five and a half, six points, wherever he ended up getting it. Didn't matter because they won by four. And, uh, man, David Blau hit Kenny Galladay first play of the game, 75-yard pass. And that pretty much screwed the pooch on everything we were trying to do, uh, including uh, cover the number and go under the total. So we lose that one. But... Did better on the Buffalo Dallas under, and holy shit, it's a Thanksgiving miracle. I hit a prop bet as uh, we predicted Mitchell Trubisky to have a, a fairly big day, and he actually ended up having a big day. Uh, went over his total by 100 yards. Holy crap, I'm a genius. That's one in a row on the props, baby. Uh, oh, man, on the premium side, we did go split there as we had the Chicago Detroit under, see above. And uh, we did have the New Orleans and Atlanta under as well. And that one did cash for us in the late game. On the standalone pick, we had Buffalo plus the six and a half points. That one came in, so we end up going four and two on our picks on the day. And that's, uh, that's, that's darn fine right there. We'll take that every day of the year. So with that being said, let's move on and take a look at a little college ball. Look at a little college football today for you guys. Oh, first of all, Derek Saunders has posted his uh, capper of the day, play of the day, and it will be the Colorado Avalanche on the money line. Don't have a number on that yet, but in the NHL Friday, that will be his play of the day. So thanks for throwing that up there, Derek, and uh, good luck on the Avs. All right, guys, we're going to start off in the world of college football, taking a look at Maxon. A uh, little uh, little, little uh, last weekend of Maxon here, kids. Well, of course, we'll have the championship game, but this will... Uh, so our, our, our last weekend with some of the dregs. Speaking of dregs, it's Bowling Green, everybody. The only team that can make fun of Akron. Uh, Bowling Green headed to Buffalo. Take on the Bulls. Bulls minus 29 points. You know, there are not many good matchups for the Bowling Green Falcons these days, except Akron. Uh, but this one is especially bad. Uh, they struggle to throw the ball, throwing a uh, pass of just 164.3 yards per game. That's good for 119th out of 130. Uh, FBS schools, uh, they have to run to be successful, and that's going to be a tall task versus this Bulls defense that is fourth in the country in rushing yards per game and eighth in yards per carry on the defensive side. They are one of just eight teams around that are giving up less than 100 yards per game and under 3.0 yards per carry. Uh, the Bulls, well, they've got a decent quarterback in Kyle Van Trees, but they will always be a team that uh, wants to run the ball until you can stop them. With this Bowling Green rush defense, that may not happen until about 2015, or excuse me, 2025. Um, they are uh, 125th in the nation. They give up 5.8 yards per carry, and this is not going to be a pretty one at all. Give me the Bulls to roll over the Bowling Green Falcons. And turn our attention to the American Conference as the Cincinnati Bearcats Travel to Music City, the real Music City, the city of the blues, Memphis, Tennessee. <clears throat> to take on the Memphis Tigers, Memphis 11.5 point home favorite in this one. 
Uh, this is a game with contrast in motivations for each of these teams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, Cincinnati, well, they are playing for home field advantage in the championship game, but they've already qualified for that contest next week. But Memphis, well, they have to win in order to ensure that they win the uh, AAC West. If they lose... Uh, the only thing that stands between uh, the Navy midshipmen and the title of the uh, in the West is a Houston team. Well, that can't stop the run. That's uh, let's go ahead and pencil the uh, middies in for a victory in that contest. Plus, uh, these are the two highest ranked group of five teams. If one of these teams wins today and they win the rematch next week, they will almost be assured of playing a New Year's Day bowl game. So there you go. Uh, start with the premise. Memphis is going to get theirs. All right, let's just start at that point. They simply have too many weapons between uh, Brady White and his 30 TD passes. They've got uh, freshman running back Kenneth Gainwell in the backfield. He's got almost 1,800 all-purpose yards this season, including 1,300 on the ground and 15 touchdowns. Now, the Cincinnati defense has been good at times this season, but this is going to be the best offense they've faced since uh, possibly UCF or maybe even um, the Ohio State University. Uh, Bearcats rushing game uh, on the on the offensive side of the ball it is uh, tended to stall out against good competition. Quarterback Desmond Ritter he has been absolutely dreadful the last two games thrown for just 140 yards total with no TD passes and an interception. Uh, the Tigers' weakness is pass defense. Uh, they've gotten blown up by the likes of Tulsa and SMU. The Cincinnati offense is almost the exact opposite of those two teams. Give me the Tigers big. And stand by for round two next week. And we are finishing up with a pick from the Big 12 as the West Virginia Mountaineers uh, travel down to Texas, take on the TCU Horned Frogs down there in Fort Worth. West Virginia's 11.5 point home, uh, excuse me, road dog in this one. You know, this is a Mountaineers team that has been awful running the football all season, okay? How awful? Well, only Akron is worse. See, they, they show up even when they're not playing. Those zips. Uh, the difference is uh, they changed quarterbacks three games ago, and they've actually gotten a boost from Doge as uh, he's thrown for 660 yards, five touchdown passes, and no picks. He is a transfer from, ironically, uh, Bowling Green. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the West Virginia rest defense, they have also really stepped up over their last four games. They have surrendered less than three yards per carry, including holding uh, Chuba, Hub uh, Ch Chuba Hubbard the country's leading rusher to under four yards per carry last week. I think TCU wins this one in Gaines Bowl eligibility, but I think that spread is a little bit too tall. Give me them Mountaineers plus 11 and a half points. Uh, give me the Memphis Tigers minus the 11 and a half points. And give me those Buffalo Bulls minus the 29 points. At the end of those three, you guys can join me a little Black Friday special. We'll pick up our winning tickets. And head back to the window. That's right. While your better half's out there spending the money, we'll be home making it. That's what it's all about, baby. All right. Let's take a look at the shout-out. See how you guys did here on this Thanksgiving. By the way, thanks for all the uh, thanks for all the, uh, the, 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 uh, the the compliments about my turkey outfit. My wife will be very happy. Um, she had something much more elaborate planned, but uh, things kind of got crazy over the weekend with... Uh, with my dad and, uh, you know, the kids coming in and everybody's putting things together. So uh, she did a, I thought she did a pretty good job throwing that together in about 20 minutes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, shout out to her as well. Uh, Steve Godon said that was a good one with the turkey head. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, Steve hit a couple today. He hit the uh, hit the Saints and the Saints first half. Uh, yeah, the Bears Bears got to him as well. Oh, hey, Correa said, love the hat, man. Said, who's not hungry on Thanksgiving? That's baby, baby. Said, oh, uh, it's a joke. That's right. Uh, my wife told me this when I got up there. She goes, who's not hungry on Thanksgiving? The turkey, because he's already stuffed. That's beautiful right there. A little Thanksgiving humor. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, I said, all right. He said he uh, gave us his five best picks today. Not too shabby. He had the Bills, Mississippi State, and Iowa. If you didn't see the end of that Mississippi State game, I highly recommend you go back and check out the highlight. Of, the, uh, of that game. They scored a touchdown uh, to bring it within, th I think, 31-30. And the, the guy that scored uh, crawled through the end zone and then lifted his leg to simulate a dog urinating. Um, they frown on that in the NCAA. I'm not even sure you'd get away with that in the NFL. I know they have 
They let you celebrate a lot, but they do have some parameters. That might have even violated that, but it certainly was good for a 15-yard penalty in the NCAA. Uh, they did assess the penalty, tried a 35-yard extra point to tie the game, and, of course, he pushed it wide right. They lose 31-30, uh, does Ole Miss. So uh, Mississippi State on the money line, mighty fine play right there. <clears throat> and uh, he also had Iowa Hawkeyes plus seven in a game. They won out right there in basketball. So he goes three and two plus 80. Nice job, Jorge. Uh, the Mad Carrot said that uh, being an atheist got me banned from Thanksgiving. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. Only from the Carrot, my friends. Said, I'm going to do some extra sending today. Now, that's what I believe uh, the Carrot will absolutely do. Uh, carrot, he put some picks out there. Uh, put a parlay out with some uh, corners. And uh, not so hot. He also had Celtic over two and a half. Um, he wanted to know who is a shamanad. Uh, they said they've covered insane numbers two days in a row. That happens with them, dude. They are a Division II school that happens to be on one of the most gorgeous pieces of real estate in the United States of America out there in Hawaii. So they host that big tournament every year. A lot of great teams go out there and play uh, in the in the tournament and uh, against shamanad. So. Um, by the way, he said, I have a cock on my head. Carrot. Uh, Cowboys make a stand, uh, over whatever, he said, over whatever the team total was. I don't care if it's 40. Uh, yeah, they stood around and watched the Bills score. They did make a stand. All right. Uh, Rocco Alvarez, he had, uh, had Cowboys, Saints, and Bears. He did get through home on the Saints. Nice job, Rocco. Uh, Anthony Heacock. Uh, told me that the Lions play at Ford Field. Yeah, dude, I couldn't. I, I knew that, but I didn't know if it had like a, a new corporate name. Um, I knew it was originally Ford Field, but they changed names. I didn't know if it was the, uh, you know, the AC Delco uh, uh, Amway Ford Field. So, yeah, it's good to know that it's still Ford Field. That's uh, appreciate the information there, Anthony. Uh, Stan Lee, otherwise known as the Legendary King, said uh, Saints minus six. Sounds to me, sounds about right to me. I uh, said, I hope I'm wrong and they lose. He was not, and they didn't. He goes 1-0 plus 100. Uh, Roland Mims, he had the Saints minus 7. Uh, thank the terrible kicker there for, this, uh, for the Atlanta, by the way, for getting home on that one as he missed an extra point and a field goal. And we covered that number by 1. <laughs> uh, said Bills plus 7. Said, I almost like the money line. Roland, I hope you ended up talking yourself into that one and pulling the trigger as that was a good hit. Uh, he also had a couple plays from the Bears, and so he got juiced on the day. Uh, Dave Covers said he loves the, sicker, loves the turkey heads to live in Chicago land area. Said the Bears opened up at Pickham. Too much line movement. Yeah, I get that, bud. I get that. Even with the third string quarterback out there, I can't take it. Uh, probably overthinking it. You were not, Dave. You were thinking exactly the right amount, and you were exactly on the right track. Said I don't trust Nagy. No shit. Um, he said, watch him put up 30, 30 plus today. Uh, no. No, he did not. Uh, he did. He had the over in the Atlanta game, faded us there. And the Bills Cowboys and faded us on our yeah, faded us on both of those uh, on both those unders. Uh, then he said he made a switch and he had the Bears uh, Lions under 43 and a half. Almost got home on that one. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, better days ahead, Dave. Uh, Stephen Tejada uh, said, "Love the hat and the matching chair." Said, "Happy Gobble Gobble Day." Thank you very much, Stephen. Hope it was a good one for you as well. He took a uh, had the Bears uh, half under 18. But he did do a six-point teaser with the Bears, Bills, and the Saints, plus 280. Uh, nicely done that. And nicely done there. And then he had a, a a parlay with North Carolina and Long Beach under. And North Carolina ended up that, losing that one outright to Michigan. So on the day, he goes 0-1 uh, uh, on straight picks, 1-1 one one on his parlay and teaser there. He goes plus 70 on the day. Steven, not too bad. We'll take that every single day. Uh, Rico Ramos said the chair, the turkey chairman. <laughs> That's right, brother. Uh, Confused Oracle says, uh, Happy Thanksgiving, Scott, and everyone, ex everyone else except the stinking slimy bookies. That's all right, bud. We got a little something. We got a little something for them as the uh, Confused Oracle. He had quite a bit for his turkey, he, he, for his bookie today. Uh, no turkey for uh, who's ever paying the Confused Oracle's bets because all he did was go uh, hit a, a six team, six point teaser, pays plus 610. Well done, my friend. How about little Bells? How about a little? How about a little Bears, uh, Bills under Saints, Maryland, uh, Northern Florida, EY, uh, LYU, Brooklyn over and Pepperdine AZ over. Both those college games went over easily. By the way, well done, my friend. One and zero on your parlay plus six ten. James Miles, <laughs> oh James, 
said, I can't believe I've created a monster. A while ago, I was smoking more pot than stoves do. And I said, damn, Scotty, too hot chair and make him look like a turkey. Wake up this morning, and you see, it really touched my heart, man. Uh, I said, you're a swell guy, and I uh, love your content, brother, win or lose. Appreciate it, James. Also appreciate the heads up on the turkey chair. It can't be unseen, my friend. Uh, I said, do again, my turkey friends. Let's gobble, gobble on these picks. I said, give me the Saints. And uh, take a look at my Cowboys emoji. There you go. All right. So uh, I said, oh, kids don't do drugs. Fine advice right there, James. Uh, very well. I think he had the, uh, so I think, uh, you had the Cowboys there. Yeah, I think he had the Cowboys. I think James got juiced on the day. Uh, James will forever live in our hearts. Absolutely. Big Rag Goose said, happy Thanksgiving. Best of luck on the place. Thanks for checking in, Big. And uh, yeah, love, love your content. As well, hope you did well if your turkey plays and uh, save some ducats fire at him today, brother. Uh, Derek Saunders, our reigning champion, went two and one on the day, plus 90. Not too bad. He got down on the Saints and the Cowboys under. Kissed a degenerate. Said, Happy Turkey Day, Scott and fellow handicappers. I don't trust the Bills to cover seven. Good hunch, my friend. Last time I checked, they were pretty banged up. And uh, yeah, said, I lean towards the Lions. Said, Best of you to me, uh, best of, to me and the family. Appreciate it. My man, back at you. Said the Bills might be a bit fat and sassy. I like the Cowboys. Oh, oh. Said the Cowgirls need this game. Yeah, they do. Buffalo doesn't. They might be looking ahead to the Ravens. Uh, all true points, my friend. But uh, as it turns out, uh, he went 2-1 and one on the day. He had Detroit and he had the Saints. Missed out on the Cowboys. 2-1 and one plus 94. Kiss the degenerate. Uh, Hammer and Hank. Fine day for Hammer and Hank. He lost only on the USC basketball. Had a little Seton Hall, a little San Diego State. Little Bills under and a little Trubisky over. And uh, he did put a couple other picks out there. So, but on those uh, that, that uh, I think they pushed on those, he had the Saints and the over in that game. But on his five that mattered, it goes four and one plus 290. Nice job, Henry. Well done. Uh, Robert McCarris says, Scotty the Turkey. Absolutely, brother. Uh, he he had, uh, missed out on the Bears and the Cowboys. He did hit the Bears and Cowboys, uh, or the Bears and Lions over. Uh, Daniel Ruon says, changing up my strategy a little bit. Playing a couple parlays, and he put some NBA numbers up, and um, I'm guessing those are for tomorrow, right, Daniel? For Friday, or for night, for today, rather. Because um, the, uh, the uh, NBA did not play on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, C-Dub hit a couple, missed out on a couple. Uh, he went uh, went to two and three on his uh, soccer plays. He had Tariq Cohen over 48 and a half, which that did not get home. I thought that was a pretty good play, my friend. I really liked that when I saw it. Uh, King Ham said, Thank you. Th happy Thanksgiving. I'm here for another year. Not on anyone's table. Very good. Uh, so here's his picks. Uh, he had the Bills plus seven, but he missed out on the Bears and the Falcons plus seven. Uh, do, 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 do. He said he's going with his theory because uh, a lot of the picks are with the Saints. Uh, you know what? That last drive turns out a little bit different or the field goal kicker doesn't totally suck. That's a good call. So it wasn't a bad hunch. Uh, Jimmy Jack 35 said, Your children must have had fun with that one. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of fun uh, with the kids growing up, man. We, my wife and I, uh, my wife has a great sense of humor too, and uh, had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs um, from their childhood. Hope they, I hope they, hope they enjoyed it because you know we had a blast, and we still have a great time when, whenever we all, we all get together. Uh, Trubisky was overdrafted since then; it's been all unders. That's beautiful, right there. I never miss an opportunity to tell Bears fans, cover your ears if you're a Bears fan, uh, that the Bears traded up to take Mitchell Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. That's right. You're welcome. That's a, my, my weekly reminder on that one. Uh, Bronco Devil said, Les Nesman in the Silver Dome. It's Thanksgiving 78. I swear to God, I thought turkeys could fly. Uh, I said he loves uh, Allen Robinson over five and a half receptions plus 100. Yep, absolutely right. And then he uh, reposted and put an update down. So he just hit Robinson over in the third quarter. Doubling down with Cole Beasley over four and a half in the last game, or in the Cowboys game rather, and Beasley... Uh, came through with six catches there. So uh, nicely done. Bronco Devil, 2-0 and plus 200. Mike Butler stopped by to say, bless the chat. Back at you, Mikey. Hope you had a great Thursday. Uh, the astute Aardvark, admiring the beautiful hat and plume, said our Aardvarks appreciate a good accessory of 13. Absolutely, Aardvark. We're here to please. Uh, the Vard went 3-1, uh, plus 320, as he had a nice hit on the Buffalo money line. Surprised more people didn't get on that. Surprised I didn't get on that. Uh, I did like Bills a lot in that play. Uh, th 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 oh, you just missed out on USC. Another one that had USC to cover. Uh, he goes 3-1 and one plus 320. Uh, Darwin Tenko. Uh, rough day in college basketball for Darwin. 
Uh, made some first half plays with the, and it got close. It just it just wasn't quite there, and it had the three team parlay on it as well. So Darwin, appreciate you checking in, brother. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. So our Paza cappers for the day, friends. Stephen Tejada, he goes zero and one, one and one plus seventy. Steve Godon three and two plus eighty. Derek Saunders two and one plus ninety. Kiss to degenerate two and one plus ninety. Stan Legendary King Lee one and zero plus one hundred. Bronco Devil two and zero plus two hundred. Hammer and Hank got on the board four and one plus two ninety. The astute Aardvark, three and one plus three twenty. But ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you know him, you love him. He's not as confused as he used to be. He's crushing us. Uh, he is 1-0, and hitting that six-team teaser. It is the confused oracle, everybody. 1-0 and plus 610. You, my friend, are our capper of the day. Congratulations, senior confused oracle. If you got a capper of the day, play of the day, make sure you put it in there uh, today with the comment section for one of the uh, Saturday games, and we will get it to the masses so we can get it bet down. All right? And for the rest of you guys... Let's have some fun, man. Let's make some money. Hope everybody has this Friday off. And if you don't, hope it goes fast for you. Hope you're able to get home and watch a little football, maybe even a little basketball, whatever it is. Good luck on all your plays. And whatever happens, we'll be back here tomorrow, about 24 hours. We'll do what we do, man. We'll bitch about those bad beats. We will brag about our fat stacks. And then it's going to be Rivalry Saturday, so we're going to jump in there. Where would you rather be, guys? We're going to jump in there, fire it up, and we'll do it all again. All right? You guys have fun. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you back at the window, all right? Take care.